Thanks to Stu for the earlier races. I'll kick off with the Moore's Millions. The first one is a four-mile Grade 3 handicap. And at the top, we've got National Apocalypse for Joshua Sutherland. has also got National Madam, Southside Kevin Meenahan, Agent Decoy, Padre Hogan, The Gentle Blade, Leon Van Rensburg, Rosabelle Drop, David Robertson, Tints in Fire or Padre Hogan, April Furbit, David Robertson, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, Sweet Women, David Hooley, Fire Lord, Leon Van Rensburg, Captain Marin, Martin Lidham, Law Society, Graham Clutterbuck, Settler for Craig Beckwith, Sarah Manamu and Amanda, for Matt Cooper, Ironical Harold Graham, Clutterbuck, Glenfire, Fredlock, Alex Cherry, Boucher Bleur, or Derek Hinton, Cirque for Martin Leadham, and King of Windsor, or Alex Cherry. So, a really big field for this one then. Call in and away. In towards the first of the fences in the rain. They get to the first, and they're all successfully over it. They've got 23 more to take, and it's Frozen Hope. Who's Taking them along at the moment. In case, as you would expect for a four miler in the rain, not all that great. Into fence two. And we'll safely over that one as well. Alex Cherry's King of Windsor has now come through to take the lead. And it's gone a couple of lengths clear, which will probably increase our virtue of being on the inside as they take this turn. One or two caught wide, and you're not going to want to be caught that wide. All the way around in a four mile race, otherwise you're going to be giving up a lot of ground and probably more like five miles. But it's King of Windsor, who's now got a five length lead over Tintsy and Farrell in second. Frozen Hope is third, Law Society is fourth, then National Apocalypse, Captain Mannering in the stripes is next. The Grey is last year's Grand National winner, South Side. And Sarah Manamu and Ironical Harold, Glenfire Fredlock after that one as they take this ditch. So they all successfully get over. Rosa Bell drop. It's just the back marker. I think that one's out of shot as they get to the fourth. And there she is. And they're all over the fourth. All safely over the first four then with King of Windsor. Setting the sedate pace, leading by four lengths into fence five. And again, all nicely over that one, getting quite strong out there, despite the fact that the pace isn't all that hot as they get over the sixth. Drop that one nicely as well. King of Windsor in the lead, still tints in fire, or still second. And National Apocalypse, who's got a big weight. And Law Society and Frozen Hope, Sarah Manamu is next. And Captain Mannering and Boucher Blur. Fire Lord, as they come up past the. Could be the weighing room, that I suppose. That's the winning post. Uh, washed up with the rain that's been coming down lately. In real life, this track will be underwater at the moment. Luckily in the land of S07, we don't have to worry about such things. And King of Windsor is in the lead. Well, about five or six lengths, I would say, to Tints in Fire in second. National Apocalypse is third. Law Society is fourth. And Frozen Hope and Sarah Manamu, Boucher Blur and Captain Manarin. With Agent Decoy. Now well, they filled a pretty tightly grouped as you can see south side the grey the last one in shot there's three or four behind and we're just going to see now as they all stream over fence number seven all traveling well all jumping well as they come into number eight the rain continues to fall this is a ditch and once again all jumped it nicely Alex Cherry's King of Windsor continuing to lead. Somebody else jumped in nicely. Alex Cherry is now top and tail in the field. With his King of Windsor in the lead and his Glen 5 Fredlot at the back. As they get over number 10. And they're all safely over the 10th. With Amanda now relegated to back spot. The King of Windsor is still the leader. Tints in fire in the second. National Apocalypse is in third. Boucher Blur has moved through nicely into fourth. And Frozen Hopes after that one. Sarah Manamu is also well placed. Circus crept through. I'm a week away from the Hunter Chases. Running wide on the track. One of the bottom weights in Law Society. Fire Lord is after that one. Grey Southside still travelling nicely up the inside. King of Windsor and continues to show the way. 
can see the water over there. Oh, level is rising. King of Winds up in front from Tints in Fire in second, and then National the Apocalypse is third, Frozen Hope fourth, and then Boosh and Blur as they come into another ditch. I'm safely over that one as well with the Gentle Blade one that's dropped towards the rear there for Leon van Rensburg. Surprised to see that one so far back, and we've lost one there. It's Frozen Hope that's gone. So Darren Thompson's Frozen Hope is the first one to depart the race. And we now got the 13th. Oh, was unlucky for him as they take the 14th. And the rest of the field stream over that one nicely with King of Windsor continuing to lead. It's only a short run to the next. And then all over that one okay as well. And come up past the enclosures again. And the paddock and the little bit of the wine room and stuff over there, won't it? Not the one that we saw from the other side. Off the track last time round. Not sure, not sure what that building is. I've not been to Worcester that many times, it's not that far away from me either, I've not been more than a few times. Anyway, past the winning post they go, and Key of Windsor is in the lead from National Apocalypse who's moved through into second. Then the Padre Hogan pair together, Tints in Fire and Agent Decoy. Fire Lord is running very wide on the track, also quite wide there is National Madam. Uh, Rosebell Drop has made a forward move, Boucher Blur is still there in that sort of leading group. Cirque is one of the ones that's dropped back a little bit, looking towards the back. Ironical Harold has also now dropped towards the rear. And they've got through this race pretty quickly. There's only a mile and a quarter still to go. And the King of Windsor has had it all his own way up front so far. Pops over the 16th in front. The rest of them over it nicely with the exception of Glenfire Fredlock, the leader stable companion who hit it quite hard and is probably out of contention. The King of Windsor Fire Lords now moved through into second. That's handily weighted, I would think, win number 11 as they get over number 17. And the rest of the field are over that one. Okay, King of Windsor's lead is down to two lengths from Fire Lord in second. Then National Apocalypse. Agent Decoy is next. Then April Furbet trying to get into its south side and Law Society also creeping closer as they take the 18th. And for the first time in the race, the lead has been joined and Fire Lord may just have poked his head in front. Fire Lord then now goes on by half a length coming into number 19 of the 24. And Fire Lord jumped that one and got away from it well and is now a good length clear. Fire Lord two lengths clear now of King of Windsor in second. National Apocalypse is in third. Law Society is getting closer. Then two comes April Furbet. National Madam Agent Decoy and Tints in Fire are next as they take the 20th. Captain Manor is getting closer as well. Plenty in with chances, but Fire Lord has got a two length lead over the top weight. National Madam and National Apocalypse also. Captain Mannering is nicely weighted. That one's coming through as well. Then comes Sweet Women, another one who's getting a bit of weight from the top ones. But it's Fire Lord who's still in front from National Madam trying to defy a big weight. Then comes Captain Mannering. Sweet Women's after that one. Then National Apocalypse. Law Society is still trying to run on the Gentle Blade. He's also making ground now as they come down towards the next. There's only about three more to go. It's four furlongs to race and it's Fire Lord and National Madam from Sweet Women in third. These three have gone clear. Captain Mannering hit a wall and has dropped right out of it. They take the fourth last. Over that they go. Fire Lord landed in front from National Madam in second. Captain Mannering's a faller. It's Fire Lord in the lead. Fire Lord comes to the third last. Gets over in front. National Madam under a big weight. Second sweep win now moves past that one. The Gentle Blade and Law Society are trying to get into it but Fire Lord is still going well in front. Fire Lord in front then. Coming down to the second last. Fire Lord gets over in front. Sweet Women jumps it well in second. Then the Gentle Blade in third. National Madam. Rosebell drop is starting to run on. Ironical Harold was a faller at the back they're over the last and it's now Sweet Women who's come to challenge for the lead Sweet Women is coming to challenge Fire Lord these two are clear they're racing inside the final Fire Lord and Fire Lord is just in front by a matter of length Sweet Women's got nothing left the one that's running on his gentle play but he's not going to get to his stable companion I don't think Fire Lord is well clear and racing up towards the line Fire Lord He's going to shoot up the weights after this one. I think Fire Lord takes it. And he's going to be a 1 2 for Leon with the Gentle Blade second, Sweet Woman third, National Apocalypse a big race on the top weight fourth. And then all the way back to Circa was the last one to finish. Sarah Manor who ran out of the track at the end. And it's a win for Fire Lord who's been tumbling down the weights after some poor runs. But he's back to form today. And we'll no doubt now be a live chance in the. Grand National, you can see Sarah Manamu just 
running out of the track. So final taxi for Leon Van Rensburg. The Gentle Blade for Leon again was second. Sweet Women for David Hoodie was third. And fourth was National Apocalypse. Joshua Sutherland with fifth. Rosebell drop for David Robertson. You can see there looking at that. Most of those horses were running from out of the handicap. And it was a big ask for those top three in the weights to give all that weight away. But the horse that finished fourth, National Apocalypse, did a pretty decent job of it.